Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. This is just going to be a really quick video because I want to show you how you can integrate phrase with shortly. And you might have noticed a sort of slight pause there when I said integrate because I wish you could see my hands. I don't have a webcam or anything to, to do this with, but um, I'm doing air quotes because when I say integrate, of course, this is not a real integration, but I actually like this better than trying to integrate it into Shortly anyways, for two reasons. One, Shortly's minimal interface is its superpower. Like I don't want, I, I hope that Shortly doesn't go off into some direction where they start adding all kinds of stuff to the UI because the more minimal, the better. In fact, over here on the left, all this stuff like writing stats and article brief and output length and all that stuff, like I always find myself thinking like, hmm, how could I minimize even that? And it's already minimal to the, to pretty much the max degree, but I still always think about what could I remove from this interface and just leave me the blank canvas to work with. So I don't want all kinds of integrations and buttons and tools and other things that show up um, within a certain degree. You know, I've, I've got some ideas that I've shared with shortly to improve things to help uh, new users make the most of the tool. But for the most part, I like that minimal approach. Uh, and also, I use phrase to do some SEO optimization. I'm sure uh, you might as well. If you're watching this video, chances are that you have phrase either off of the lifetime deal that AppSumo had or perhaps you're a subscriber to their tool. But either way, what phrase will do is give you topic scores, which is uh, how well, or I guess sort of, let's just say, I don't want to get deep into phrase and some of like that, but it's just sort of a way of judging or scoring how well your article meets the topic requirements according to phrases AI. And phrase will base that off of whatever your search term is and the top results in Google for that. So, Shortly is here on the left, obviously, and on the right is phrase. And it almost looks like it's a part of the same screen, but it's not. It's its own separate window. It's not a true, you know, integration where it's like, you know, communicating with each other. But if you bear with me for a second, I think you're going to find out that this is actually pretty good, right? I get to be inside of shortly. Shortly has to expend no resources at all to try and figure out like ways to make phrase and shortly like work together. Uh, first, I don't believe phrase hasn't come out with their API just yet. Um, they've been talking about it for a while, but I don't think it's available for the tools to use anyways. So shortly you would have to do some weird, you know, jury rigging of sorts to try and mimic a sort of integration similar to how other tools are doing it with um, some of their SEO add-ons. And I don't really like that. Um, I like how shortly the development team, the you know resources and all that spent, you know the brain power to make shortly better, just to make shortly better. That's fine. I love that. Let phrase focus on phrase. Let shortly focus on shortly, and let both tools be amazing. And here's how you can use it very simply. On the left, of course, shortly, I've already got my document. This is what I'm writing. This is this is not a real, <laughs> I guess I should explain this this content. You know, what I'm doing right here, right now, I, I did this sort of integration test when I was testing some other pro tools that I'm developing that will make shortly even better. Well, help you use shortly even better. And um, in that process, I figured, well, you know what? Let me just start a video and explain how Phrase and Shortly can work together uh, real nicely. Now, of course, I have a nice big, I think it's 32 inch 4K display. And so this works really good for me. Uh, on the right here, Phrase, it's just a new document with the term Shortly AI, which is what the article was. You probably wouldn't target Shortly AI directly as its own. You know, you probably have some kind of long form or something like that. Uh, and if you're familiar with the phrase, you know that they have the topic score here. The yellow bar is the average of what all the other sources sort of uh, meet. So that yellow bar is basically what you want to beat. Of course, you want to get as close to a full green bar here, which is 100% as you possibly can. 
Word of advice is if you get pretty close and then you feel like you're really kind of over trying to get to that last, you know, 10 or 20%, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, chances are that it's not really that necessary anyways. You know, just be careful of the overused stuff um, and the in progress, basically. But it means that, you know, you're, you maybe haven't quite used enough of it yet, given the amount of content that you have. And overused is, you know, you're just kind of looking spammy maybe to Google. And so reach that as high a score as you can. But here's what you do. As you're doing your writing, um, like let's say you're, you're, you're doing your writing inside of shortly and you can peek over here to the right and you can see the words that, that phrases suggest you use. So try to sneak those in during your AI dance. Uh, don't forget that you can flip over to other things like long tail and get longer, you know, Long, you get long tail keywords. Um, so blog posts could appear in here, you know, um, unlimited text generation, since this is talking about AI, uh, shortly AI, long form content, content villain is a, is one of the other tools on the market. You know, those types of things, you could easily just start sneaking them in with the AI and, and writing them in. And then when you're ready to test your score, you just go here, control A, control C, or command A, control, com, uh, command C, and then, whoops, <laughs> and then you do something stupid and knock it over. Um, and then you just flip to this tool, control A, control V, or command V, paste it in there, and phrase does its magic to test your score. Now, I didn't change this content since I last put it in there so it's the same score and everything but you know let's just say that okay um let's let's, let's fit in their blog posts it gives it uh, when you create a new document or you, let's just say your blog posts will rock you know just for fun and then if i control a control c come back over here control a control v should get a little bit more see blog posts is now scored i need to use it one more time but my score went up and it's basically a nice way to kind of sort of visualize some of the keywords that you need to have or you want to sort of target in your writing. And also when you're ready, you don't need a score going constantly, right? Because if the score is there and it's changing and moving and doing things, it's distracting you, right? You want to spend your time writing and when you're done writing, then check your score and do your more thorough optimizations of your SEO and, and then edit, of course, plagiarism checks, all that kind of stuff, and then publish it in a beautiful manner on your WordPress website or Webflow or whatever your platform is or whatever you're trying to do your writing for. And I think this will help you be very successful. I hope that you found this helpful. And if you're not yet part of the, the um, AI Content Dojo Facebook group, please head over there. You can do a search for AI Content Dojo. You'll find it down below will be a link to it. Please share, subscribe, all that good stuff in this video. And until next time, take care.